church, make it a mega church. God is actually selecting people who are going to build a church for God. Not everyone. Please concentrate. Not everyone. Amen. Amen. The children will worry us, but let us not put our focus on the children. Please. Hallelujah. You hear children crying, some of them will get up, they will go. No, it's a matter of time. Very soon, we shall find them their own Sunday school. We will give them their own children service uh, auditorium, and then they will go there, they will leave us alone. Shall we continue? Whatsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee. The same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Of all so shall say unto you, this shall not go with you. So shall not go. Have you seen? So have you understood the fact that it's not everybody that can build? It's not. If you are here today, it's because God brought you as small and as individual as you are to build for God. And the time is coming after we have built. You will see people coming in their numbers flogging into the church. But you are going to be and be remembered for as a founding member. Amen. As a kingdom builder. Amen. As a church builder. As a house for God's builder. Amen. And your name is going to mention as far as the history of the church is concerned. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's a privilege to build for God. Amen. Let's take a canoe for instance. Canoe. When canoe is entering to the sea to have a catch. Is it many people that sit to the canoe before the, I mean before the canoe is pushed into the water? No. All the people that will actually be in the canoe, they will get down, they'll drop down. Then just what few people, few of them will do what they will push the canoe from the dry land or from the seashore to where into the sea. After the canoe has gone into the sea or has got into the sea or into the water, then what the rest will do what will join. That is how church planting is. That is how church is. When you start a church, there will be people that God will bring closer. Who we'll help the church is like a canoe. We are entering to the sea to have a catch of multitude. Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men. Fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me. of many fishes. Count yourself as a mom. Those are the few that will push the canoe. All of you sitting here, you are the one that are going to select them to put the canoe to the sea. And after we have gotten to the sea, we are going to see fishes of human souls running and running here, flying to the church of the royal Senate God for church that was this is the mission of the church. This is the revelation of the church. 
The word. I know I'm on YouTube. The word. Watch out for the rest of the gospel church. Amen. I know I am on the internet. The church. Watch out for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we continue? Amen. I know I know we are streaming life. The church. Watch out for us. Let's go on. The verse 5. So he brought down the people onto the water. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that leapeth of the water with the tongue, as a dog leapeth, him shall thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that left, pulling their hands in their mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that loved with, will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into thy hand. And let all the other people go every man unto his place. Oh, <clears throat> oh, and I say, Oh, when they say, oh, when they say, go my oh Lord, I want to be the number, oh, when they say, oh, my come on, when they say, oh, when they say, oh, when they say, go my come on, my oh, when they say, oh, my
you come and select your people. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. When you come and select your people. Remember me, O oh Lord. That should be your prayer. This should be your prayer. Cut yourself happy that you are among the selection. Amen. That today, listen, people are using their money for foolish things. People are using their money to sponsor things that are not worthy. People are using their money for so many things. Look for a foolish thing to do. You will have sponsors. Big, big companies sponsoring. How many of the companies say, uh, how many of the companies do come and say, want to sponsor a church? <laughs> big, 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 big things. The, the, the one, no, 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 they will say, look, we are going to have a jam. We are going to have a street jam. A street jam that they are going to uh, sing songs that will glorify Satan. Sing songs about immorality. Sing songs that are going to, you know, the, the, the songs that are going to enhance immorality. Why are you going to see young people? Don't sing their, their, their heads out. Does he have naked? Doing foolish things and smoking in the same place. Smoking and drinking. Doing bad things. But yet, they will have better companies sponsoring them with bigger money. How many of these companies have been, have been using their finances to sponsor a church or a small church? They don't. They will not. Write a proposal to them and they will reject you. Hallelujah. Amen. But you should be happy that God is using the little you have to make something big. Amen. Bible says God chooses and uses the first things of this world to confound the wise. God wants to use your money to build for the church. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready when the Lord shall come? Are you ready? Are you ready when the Lord shall come? In the morning, peace of God. In the evening, peace of God. Are you ready when the Lord shall come? Are you ready? Are you ready when the Lord shall come? Are you ready? Are you ready? In the morning, six o'clock. In the evening, six o'clock. Are you ready when the Lord shall come? Are you ready? Are you ready? Salome, are you ready to use your resources? Are you ready to use your money? Are you ready? Church, how many? God said two or three. Where two 
two or three people are guarded in my name, what happens? They have their means. What about God want to start something? What about God want to use people, special and unique people, to create a difference? God will always go one person. Then after calling the one person, that one to that one person, God will bring other few to join. One example, God called only Gideon. Am I, am I right? After that, ten two thousand came, they were dropped. Ten thousand was remained. They were they were dropped. Three hundred was enough to join Gideon. What is the end? These three hundred people with just one captain shook the world with the power of God. They did wonders with the power of God. When Jesus came into the world, there were many people to call. He called only twelve. Before the twelve, he called only one person. He called Peter. And he said unto Peter, in Matthew 16, 18b, he said, Peter, hey, and upon you, this rock, I will build my color people. I will build my church. Peter, through you, I'm going to build my church. And the God of God shall not prevail against it. When God wanted to start the rest of the gospel church, when Jesus wanted to start this church, he located a small boy called Rudolph. Amen. Of leadership. But the power called Nehemu. When there's a small father called Mesa, called Mesa. Hallelujah. From a place, a town in a car that looks like Nazareth. Call a body. La. Hallelujah. And God said, Look, Niamh, Rudolph, I know you are a small boy, but I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you to start something big for me. Rudolph. You. Come and help me first. Uh, okay, okay. Let me, let me see. No, he used to be helping us. Come and help us. Otherwise, I'll put my microphone down and I'll preach. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God said, Look upon you. I'm going to use you. You're going to start. I don't care what people think about you. I don't care what people say about you. I don't care what the people see you. I don't care how wretched they see you. I don't care how unjust and sinful and unwretched they see you. But come on somebody. My son, I have called you by grace. And I've qualified you by grace. And you are going to fashion. I know, Rudolph, that people will criticize you. I know they can castigate you. But let me tell you, I the Lord, I'm giving you a promise. They can castigate you, but they can never ignore you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Till now I've been criticized and castigated, but no one has ignored me. The power of God is too much upon me. Amen. The grace is too much upon me. Therefore, I cannot be ignored by the word. The word must listen. Right now they are listening to me. My critics are listening to me. Whether they close their ears, I open their ears now in Jesus' name. They Amen. must hear me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have not seen anything yet. Jesus called only Peter and added 11 Ezra. And it became what? 12. Only 12 people shook the word for God. Only twelve people, twelve apostles, out of the the around the resurrection and the ascension of Jesus. Only twelve people shook the word with the power of God. Only twelve people populate the word with Christianity. Hallelujah! Amen. Only twelve. So God, it is not about the size. Of the organization, it is about the vision, the quality, the quantity. No matter, I am not ashamed.
to be a pastor over three people or two people in my church. I'm not ashamed. Because the vision said two or three. So I'm not ashamed. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not ashamed to be called a pastor of three congregations. Neither am I, am I ashamed to be called a pastor of two congregations. The vision giver itself says, Amen. If you are two or three, I am in your midst. Hallelujah. Amen. I am here to announce to you that there is hope for the future. Amen. With RCGC. Because Jesus is in our boat. Amen. Jesus is in our midst. Amen. And we will accomplish it. He will accomplish it. Come on. Who be kind in this church? Come on. He will accomplish it. Oh my 
by God. Amen. We are waiting on God. Amen. For God to prepare us. For God to equip us to face a perfect generation. For God to equip us here to go through the world to make the difference. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let the world get ready for us. We are getting ready for the world. Yes. Right now we are pushing. <laughs> but we we'll soon learn. Yes. Shall we continue? Amen. Amen. So the people took victuals in their hands <coughs> and their trumpets, and he sent all the rest of Israel, every man unto his tent, and retained those 300 men. They retained only 10 people, like the way I retained you here. You are retained. Amen. The number here is retained for God Amen. to build the church I want to build for God. Amen. Let's go on. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it into thy hand. But if thou fear to go down, go down with Fura. God said, I have delivered it into your hand. The power and the strength to build the church is in your hands. Say, My hands. Yes. Don't mind your size. It's in your hands. You can do it. Don't say I don't have money. Don't say I'm not working. Don't say my finances, my income is not big. God will use you anyway. Amen. Let's go on. <clears throat> but if thou fear to go down, go down with Fura. Like no, you know, let, let, let me go so that I can cross on time. Let me let me take it over from here. I want to paraphrase. <clears throat> so I have something we call the sword of the Lord and the God and that of Gideon. <clears throat> Gideon attacked the Midianite with his three hundred men. Who took torches, swords, and trumpets? Now the same night it came about that the Lord said to him, Arise, go. Go down against the camp, for I have given it in your hands. Give those 300, 300 divided into the groups of 100 each. They spread themselves around the Midian, the Midianite camp. And when signaled, they broke the pitches, revealing the torches. They shouted, they gave a shout. The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. The man of God, he takes, they shouted for what? The sword of God. That's of Gideon. That's the reason why Joseph said, Believe in the Lord your God. You will be established. Believe also in the prophet. So shall you prosper. The people did not only shout for the sword of the Lord, which is the word of